Most adjectives, all adjectives for that matter, not most adjectives, all adjectives come in one of two types. Uh, there's the first and second declension adjectives, like bonus, bona bonum, or miser, and they decline like first and second declension adjectives. And then there are third declension adjectives, like grauis, graue, heavy, or fortis, forte, keller, kelleris, kellere that decline like third declension uh, nouns. So I've said that, and then I suddenly introduce a topic that says special adjectives. What's going on here? Well, these special adjectives actually are a subset of first and second declension adjectives. So they're, for the most part, going to decline like bonus. The only difference is that uh, in the genitive singular, right, so I'll stress that, the genitive singular was going to end in I-U-S, and the dative is going to end in I, the dative singular, for all genders. So these special adjectives are actually very much like ille, illa, illud, okay, uh, in which the genitive I-U-S dative I. So what are these special adjectives? Can I, uh, is there any way of predicting which they are? Uh, yes, there are. But before we do that, there, there is a way of predicting. Uh, before that, let's take a look at how to uh, decline one of these. Like I said, this is really a first and second with a few tweaks. So, ulus ula ulum any. The ulus ula ulum, if you didn't know any better, you'd think, oh, that looks like bonus bona bonum. Uh, but you do know better, and you'll know that the genitive is ulius 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 and the dative is uli, uli, uli. After that, okay, these are special only here. Horrible thing, dative. Uh, but they're only special in the genitive and dative. After that, ulum, ulam, ulo, ula, ulo, uh, in the, the accusative and ablative, and in the plural, uli, ula, ula, ulorum, ularum, ulorum, ulis, 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 ulos, ulas, ula, ulis, ulis, ulis. They're normal first and second function adjectives. So, when you think about these special adjectives, only consider that they are special in the genitive and dative singular. Now, to get on to, which ones? Which ones are special? And there's a mnemonic device uh, that, that many people refer to as the unus nauta. That is, each one of these letters in unus nauta is going to refer to an adjective that follows this pattern. So, I put them in I listed them for you, ulus, ula, ulum, any, and its negative version, nullus, nulla, nullum. So you'll notice ulus and nullus, very similar. So any or not any, none. Unus, una, unum, one. Sola, sola, solum, only. All right, so we've got ulus, nullus, unus, solus, and then we've got neuter, neutra, neutrum, neither. And this is really neither of two. Right. Neither mm -hmm. always suggests two anyway. Neuter, alter, alter, alterum, the other of two. Uter, utra, utrum, which of two. Totus, tota, totum, whole or all. And alius, alia, aliud, other, meaning other of any number of bunch. Now I want to point out uh, something neat here. In these three adjectives, Neuter, alter, and uter. You'll notice they all have this same suffix here, the ter. And all of these imply a comparison of two. Right, so that ter suffix, whenever you see that in Latin, you can think, ah, there must be some kind of uh, grouping of two going on here. So neither of two, one of two, and the other of two. Uh, and so alter, alter can actually mean one or the other. Or uter, which of two? Right which, which one are you talking about? Which of two? And then notice another thing, that uter, the negative of uter, is ne uter, neither. So which of two? Neither of two. Another thing you can notice about these adjectives is this alter, al, and al. But this is, alter is the other of two, alius, so this all stem is going to represent some kind of uh, uh, difference. Uh, we have the English, you know, an 
alibi is an other where. Right? Alibi is in Latin another place. Right? An alibi in uh, your criminal is that you are actually somewhere else. Uh, so this al stem means other, alius other of many, alter other of two. So there are, these are just a couple ways that you can keep these straight in your head.